What's going on guys, Bunks here and today I'm back with another No Man's Sky base video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can extend limits of your base so you can make it absolutely massive. Now this is really easy to do and doesn't take you long at all so without further ado let's go ahead and get stuck in. Now then, as you may or may not know, the default buildable area of any of your bases is 300U from your base computer, both across planet surface and up into the sky. Now this may sound like a good amount, but what if you wanted to create yourself, let's say, a racetrack or some other gigantic structure that happens to be on a higher vantage point compared to your base computer? 300U just won't do for that now, will it? I'm sure you'll be glad to hear that there is a simple method to increase this radius to at least 1000 U and even just a little bit more if you really want to build something that big. So increasing your base boundaries is really simple and let me show you how you can do it. So as you can see, if I'm stood to just within 300 U from my base computer I can still access all of my base building parts no problem. Well then if I step out of that 300U boundary, I no longer have access to my base building parts and instead only have access to my portable technology. So with that being said, first of all make sure you're stood just within that 300U from your base computer so that you can access your base building parts. Now select something fairly big that requires little resources to build and I'm going to choose a wooden wall because they're easy to spot to remove once you've started building beyond the default base boundary. And with that being said, with that wall selected, place it just outside of the boundary that you're currently stood in, but don't put it too far away. A newly placed base item will have a buildable area around it of roughly 50 U, and you need that to cross over the initial base boundary of 300 units. And I'll show you what I mean on the diagram in just a few minutes. So once that wall has been placed down, if you now walk up to that wall and then step a little ahead of it, you can then place another wall further ahead. But again, make sure to stay within roughly 50U from that previous wall. You probably guessed the next part is you can rinse and repeat these steps all the way up to 1000U away from your base computer. Pretty cool, right? And of course, simple. So once you've hit 1000 U away from your base computer, you can't keep repeating these steps as it seems this is a hard limit for extending your base outwards, but what you can do is extend just that little bit further. And to do that, you need to make sure your character is still stood within the 1000 U from your base and then you can place the final wall just outside of that limit. Simples. The base parts that you've used to extend your base should now all count as part of the base's buildable area and if you're inside those base part boundaries, anything else you build will belong to that base and should snap to your other base parts and most importantly, it should also be uploaded when you decide to upload your base. So let me show you what this looks like in a simple diagram. So as you can see, the first circle of the initial 300U base boundary and if you place another base part outside of it, you need this to overlap the area between the two. And of course, when you continue to build outwards with the method I just showed you, you will need to have the overlap each wall or other base part that you've chosen, otherwise those walls and anything you build around them won't actually belong to your base and will disappear if you warp elsewhere. As you can also see, you're only actually extending out from your base in a fairly narrow corridor of about 50 U wide, so you probably want to do this in a few directions away from your base computer so that your entire base radius is extended rather than just small corridors here and there. So there are a couple of things you need to be wary of when extending your base boundary however. Your boundary will be locked if you do one or two things in the game such as teleport, warp to another system or use a portal. So you want to make sure that you've fully unlocked your boundary and built on it before performing any of those actions. And the easy way to do that is to simply save your game and reload it and that should unlock your base boundary for you. So when you perform any of those previously mentioned actions, you're not going to lose any of the extended base that you've already built. So another thing to know is that when you do lock the boundary again by either teleporting, warping or using a portal, your base boundary will automatically revert back to its original 300U radius from the base computer. Now it's not as bad as it sounds, you won't actually lose anything that has already built in that boundary extension, but you will have to re-extend the boundary if you want to start building beyond that 300U radius again. So my advice here would be to build absolutely everything you want in the new extended boundary tunnel before performing an action that's going to revert it back to its 300U radius. 
If you do want to build outwards again after reverting back to 300U from your base computer, you should unlock the boundary again by repeating the steps I mentioned earlier in the video. You can tell if you're building within the boundary limits because the base parts should snap to one another and you should also see this symbol above the base computer. And there you have it folks, that is an easy way to expand the radius to your base and of course it will take you no time at all to do it. Pretty simple right? And as always, if you found this video useful, it would be totally awesome if you could hit those like and subscribe buttons whilst you're here, so you never have to miss out on any of my future No Man's Sky videos. I will of course be doing more videos on all aspects of No Man's Sky, from base building and updates, to beginner guides, glitches and amazing locations, and much more, so you don't want to miss out on those, right? As always, thank you for watching, and catch you next time!